this is a short uh, video which will provide the viewer with a little bit of uh, information on some underwater uh, video capture that I'm working on. Uh, I'm a chemistry professor with uh, a university uh, based in Western Pennsylvania. And what we hope to accomplish here is to provide you with information on some inexpensive um, spy cam waterproof casing, uh, some information in case you're interested in this type of work. The spy cam, uh, let me go to full screen. I'm doing one take on this. Spy cam used is a color spy video recorder. It will capture 640 by 480 uh, area audio visual captured in AVI format. It has in it a lithium rechargeable battery and it'll use a 2 to 16 gig gigabyte micro memory card. The item uh, that I'm using in this footage comes with a USB adapter which will enable you to recharge the battery and to download to your computer. I use both the PC and the Mac uh, download any uh, uh, images, JPEG images or uh, video footage. I've used this device that I purchased on eBay for two weeks with great success. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, I purchased the device from a seller WJ158 on eBay. The seller is based in China and the item will arrive in about uh, two to three weeks, closer to three weeks to the United States where I live as promised. The item comes with adapters for holding the spy cam as well and I've actually captured footage, you can find it here on eBay, on uh, YouTube where I've actually attached it to the front of my Jeep and uh, it holds up very well, very very good. Here's the great thing, nine dollars and ninety nine cents post paid to me in the United States. Here's a little picture of it so you can spot it on eBay. Um, what's the length of it? Well, let's take a quick, uh, let's do a quick check. Uh, it's about uh, two inches, maybe a little under two inches. The casing that I use to do underwater work here is uh, manufactured specifically for use with this MD-80 spy cam. Uh, the underwater or under wet conditions, uh, the casing. The uh, seller claims that it works to 100 foot depth with no water penetration. I've not gotten anywhere near that. I've used it a few times with no difficulty in our campus pool. Uh, to seven foot depth. The unit is twelve dollars and fifteen cents postpaid uh, to me in the United States. The item comes with a lanyard strap and two handy attachments. There are no instructions. I caution you if you purchase one open the case very slowly and carefully. It has a clasp on the top and you will disconnect that gently first. There will be an arrow and then you open the bottom of the casing. So nice and easy the first time and then after that it's a snap, no pun intended. But go easy the first time you go to open the casing. The casing will only have room to fit this particular model of spy cam, the one used in this study. Now on eBay you can find various types of so-called uh, spy cams uh, or nanny, uh, people use that I guess to videotape a uh, nanny. Um, a keychain type, which I commonly use in field work, will not fit in this casing. There will virtually be no room for anything besides the uh, case, the uh, cam, which fits in very snugly. I purchased it from a, a Chinese uh, eBay seller. The name is Park Laurel, P A R K. L A U R A L. So far, it is keeping water out. We'll have you look at the video, and I will be weighing the unit down with fishing weights to sink to depths of um, 25 50 feet in time.
is a little picture of it so you can spot it. Now when you open this casing, be careful. You gently open this first and then the bottom snaps up and the casing opens. So the first time, go through it carefully or you'll wind up breaking it. The micro mem card you need for the spy cam it does not come with the uh, spy cam. I regularly use a gigabyte micro memory cards. Now you can use anywhere from 2 to 16 gig micro memory cards with this unit. And I have purchased these cards from eBay seller Yalstock. Y A L L S T O C K. Sol seller is based in China and delivers on schedule, two to three weeks. And I got a couple of cards recently from this seller, and it cost me $9.98 postpaid. So we're talking $5 a piece US for 8 gig. And of course, you can get them in a local uh, uh, Walmart. Now, underwater field tests. What am I trying to do here? Uh, eventually, uh, I'll be doing outdoor work, under footage, uh, underwater footage in reservoirs, uh, streams. And I'm starting my field test in the campus pool. The swimmer and the instructor shown in these videos were happened to be there. The uh, swimmer was working out, and I was granted permission to videotape the workout. My plan is to bring the cam unit, this entire unit, card, camcorder, casing, to the attention of environmental, ecology, swimming instructors, field biologists, naturalists, etc. Because such a unit will cost under $25 postpaid. Thus, it becomes very affordable for college, university student instruction. That's the key. So here you will see the uh, first video, video number one in our campus pool. I'm at the uh, campus pool, and I'm getting ready to uh, try out the first underwater uh, capture. So we'll see what happens. I'm dropping it in the case. And it will be in uh, just about seven foot of water in a minute or two. Cool. Um, this first video actually shows uh, a gentleman that is doing his daily exercise and uh, once again he gave me permission to uh, use this. Here's video number two. You can tell I'm not an underwater photographer by any means. Just a quick and dirty test and with practice of course we all get better. There's my foot. And pretty soon I think you'll see the uh, young fellow who is uh, doing his workouts.
I am impressed with the unit. I, if it holds up, well worth the money for many colleges and universities worldwide where money is always an issue. There he is. He's looking forward to seeing this on uh, you, YouTube later tonight. Let us progress to uh, video number three. About 10 or 15 minutes of practice and you start to get a little better at uh, capturing footage. Once I have it stabilized with weights, uh, performance should be better. I also have to attach lighting. Yeah, there's the uh, gentleman uh, uh, exercising. There's two of them. I'll have to attach lighting. I'll be probably using mini LED uh, flashlights about an inch long, attaching it to the outside of the casing so I can provide lighting as I go to uh, a 25 foot or greater depths without much light penetration here in northwestern Pennsylvania. Swimming is such great exercise. You can actually hear me talking to him a little bit while the unit was underwater. Not a drop of water got inside the casing. Future efforts. As I've mentioned, I'll work now efficiently on, um, I'll work on efficiently attaching weights for sinking the unit. I also will have to rig up uh, a small uh, lighting unit to the outside of the casing. I'm currently using 30 pound uh, test nylon fishing line and uh, I may very well test out link chain as well. And I'll be attempting to map local surface reservoirs, underwater footage with students, a uh, little bit of local work. I teach a course, chemistry and the environment, and uh, we'll probably introduce students to the utility of these in inexpensive units. Uh, if you need to get a hold of me, you can reach me, uh, soriano at pit.edu. Here's my phone number. I'm in Bradford, Pennsylvania, in northwestern PA. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Bye now.